Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. If you're new here, welcome. And to my subscribers, welcome back. Today I'll be doing an unboxing of my all clad non-stick fry set and I'll be doing a comparison to my Kathlon non-stick fry set. So if you like these types of videos, just keep watching. So here we go guys, let's unbox this and see what we're working with. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that. Has the care instructions and also to register the product and I know that all clad has a lifetime limited warranty on all of their cookware so this is cool oh my lord Look at this. You see, look at the bottom, the tri-fly bottom. This is really cool. All right, let me get this cleaned up and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so before I get started, I just wanna say that both these brands have my heart. That's the All Clad brand and the Cathlon brand. And I'm gonna be discussing uh, the history of both of the brands. I'm gonna discuss the ergonomics, the construction and durability, the cost, and then I'll give my final thoughts on the end. So a little bit of history. All Clad is known for their tri-ply stainless steel cookware. So they're the ones that's usually found in, top, in the top restaurants. A lot of top restaurants, their chefs uh, use the um, all clad stainless steel brand and um, Kathlon is known for their hard anodized aluminum nonstick pans also Kathlon was one of the first uh, to make cookware from natural nonstick anodized aluminum but recently all clad decided to um, to enter the nonstick arena by offering a, um, a nonstick version in the, to their collection okay so now let's discuss the ergonomics of both uh, of these brands uh, we'll start with the um, with the Kathlon first so I'll start with uh, the Kathlon brand so um, whenever I'm choosing cookware I always hold the handle as I know um, many of you do also and the Kathlon handle if you see this is designed in a way that helps the user to have a power grip. It basically maximizes your hand capacity. Okay, so you hold it, you have a tight grip and it's firm, form like this. Okay, now while the all clad, okay, as you can see, the handle is pretty long. It doesn't, it's not a short, short handle, you see? Okay, this is my hand holding the, the Kathlon, and this is my hand holding, holding the All Clad. So as you can see, there's a lot of space, a lot of space there. I'm holding the, I'm holding the Kathlon. It's a little bit more firm. I have a bit more control over it. But with the, with the All Clad, uh, not so much. I find myself having to use. Uh, both hands. So if you're a novice, you know, if you don't cook as much at home or you're just, you know, getting into cooking, I would say that the all clad handle is going to take some getting used to. 
you may need to hold it with uh, with both hands okay with both hands to balance and have more control over it so again if you're a novice or you're new to cooking or you don't do as much cooking I would say the Cathlon the Cathlon is a uh, better for you but you know if you're a top chef or you think you're a top chef or you're trying to you know to get more into the culinary arena I would say the all clad would be perfect for you now when it comes to the construction and durability of both of the brands now both of them offer um, non-stick pans that are made of hard anodized aluminum and they are both sturdy like both brands their pans are pretty sturdy sturdy so they're durable they're gonna hold up they're gonna hold up to a lot okay they're both um dishwasher safe so you can wash them in the dishwasher but a lot of these manufacturers uh suggest that for your pans to last longer they would advise you to um hand wash them and whenever you wash pots you always want to make sure that they cool down before you actually wash them like you know if you've had something on the stove you know and you're finished with it don't just put it in the sink and have the water run on it you know right away so let the let, just let the pan cool before you wash it and of course um when i'm washing my pans i always wash it with cold water and again i don't ever put my pots in the dishwasher uh so that you know it just prevents them from you know anything happening to them you know any unforeseen accident that may happen so i always again i always hand wash them dry them right away and i never put them in the dishwasher another thing about these pans are that they're also um oven safe so they can withstand heat to up to 500 degrees so let's say um you started with some you know salmon on the stove you know you had your salmon cooking and you want to put it in the oven just for a little bit you know to get a nice oil going or let's say you made some sweet potatoes you know and you want to you had it you know you had it fried up in a pan then you want to put it in the oven just for a little bit uh these pans are good for that they can withstand um heat up to 500 degrees so these pans are definitely worth it all right so now let's discuss the cost now as you know these pans are top two in the culinary arena that's just my thoughts of what i would say so um the all clad all clad is definitely a lot more expensive especially if you go into the stainless steel brands they're pretty expensive and the um the Kathlon brand is expensive, but I think it's more manageable. It's more doable for a you know a home cook. It's more. It's the price point is a little bit more manageable for a home cook. So um, this all class set, uh, this fry pan set, it costs about sixty dollars. So a regular um, fry pan set from the Kathlon brand, it'll cost you about forty five dollars. Which again, as I said, if you're a if you're a home cook just now starting out and you want a good set of you know durable pan pots and pans, I would say that the Kathlon brand is where uh, you should be. Kathlon price point is a uh, pretty good, and they have a plethora of um, cookware sets, so you can decide um, how high or how low <laughs> you want to spend. How much? Um, how much you want to spend on a good set of um of cookware so again the all clad will cost you about sixty dollars for the fry pan set and the calphalon will cost you about forty five dollars for the um the cookware set and again guys i like both of these brands they they really have my heart i like them both so final thoughts guys if you're just starting out in cooking and you're looking for a quality set of pans i would definitely say to invest in the Kathlon brand it's durable you know the quality is really good and you won't be disappointed and it's also a little bit cheaper so it's a little bit affordable but still the quality is there and if you're a chef 
or a chef in the making or you think you're a chef then I would go with the all clad brand but again you can't go wrong with any one <clears throat> of these products they're both built well and they're durable so I hope you try them out I'll make sure to have a link to each of the sets listed in the description box below and also thanks for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every Friday when I post Bye.